All right, figured I would uh, blow some dust off of some of my collection, so this is going to be random assortment of fire alarm testing. So, we are going to be testing a 120 volt, uh, what does it say, Federal 31, a Gentex Commander 3, a Gentex SHG, second generation SHG, and an Edwards 340 120 volt adapter bell. Now, now the adapter, now as I mentioned, the adapter bell and the and the uh, 31 are AC, so their power supply is already hooked up. As a matter of fact, the 31 is on like a little lamp switch. The Commander and the SHG, of course, are 24 volt DC. So we have a 24, we have a 27 volt DC power supply waiting. Okay. First things first, we're gonna do, and I'm just gonna get it out of the way because it's gonna be extremely loud. Is the 31. A brief test. Here we go. Oh shit. That was Alright, that's enough of that. I'm sure my neighbor probably just leaked through the ceiling here and that. Wow! Even the old lady living down below me probably heard that. She's deaf. Hmm. Don't have a bird. Someone's been chewing on the wire. Thing. We shouldn't pierce the uh, insulation. Okay, next up, the commander. Now the commander can have a, can have a good bite to it too. have a bite to it. Next, the SHG. Observe polarity and the alarms will work. That one wasn't so bad. That's one thing I like about these second generation SHGs. They're not all that loud. Last but not least, the adapter bell. I assure you it'll ring longer than that. Okay. I think that's enough. I'm sure I've woke up every one of my neighbors. At least it's somewhat late-ish in the morning, but... I think I'm done. And I'm going to lay low for a little bit. So, hope you guys enjoyed it.